Stay crazy, bro. Got another loss. You shouldn't have lost this one at all. I can't even yell. I'd be yelling right now, man. I'd be screaming my lungs off. But I was already screaming in the dome, so I can't really do it right now. I'm hurting. But just know I'm mad right now. Just know that. <laughs> Don't mind my room, man. I'm over here throwing stuff around, screaming. You know, the typical Atlanta fans do after a game. But y'all not here for all that. Y'all here to hear me talk about this silly-ass game we just came from. It was bad when Samuel Jackson said it's a waste of fan support. <laughs> Samuel was mad on Twitter. If y'all don't believe me, go check his tweet. He was mad, boy. He was mad. Go check Twitter. See a lot of angry folks. The usual. Y'all better not go to the playoffs. If we make the playoffs, y'all better not go and do some stuff like this again. Because I'm probably going to get a playoffs ticket. And Y'all just get the cops ready for them because I'm be going crazy in there if they lose like that again. Cannot believe this again. Again. See, I try, you know, I try to stay positive. You know, every time I keep it real in my videos, y'all be like, oh, man, you got to stop down in the team. Blah, blah. This is another example why <laughs> I be halfway on the team. I be like, man, I don't know if they're going to do it. I told y'all I was not going to make that bet. And luckily, I did not make that bet because I felt like, I said in my last video, it's going to be a shootout. But I thought we was going to win. That was the only difference. I thought we was going to win. I knew it was going to be a shootout, but I did not expect for it to be like that. I did not. These, I almost dropped my wings. I was so mad. <laughs> bro, I almost dropped my wings. I paid like $8 for it, bro. I'm in the dome, you know, I'm in there going crazy, you know, supporting, I'm out there screaming, my voice halfway done. It's, <laughs> bro, we was, what was it? We blew a 27-10 lead in the second. We had a 27-10 lead in the, in the second quarter, bro. How you do that, man? <laughs> Tell me. This man Denzel Perryman balled. He balled out. All right. With the interception and then the stop. I'm not even going to talk about us getting stopped for one. <laughs> 20 yards, yard, man. Okay, what happened? Let's see. Us getting stopped on fourth and one, which is crazy. I was in the dome, you know, a lot of people would be talking. They was like, why didn't you pass on fourth and one? I really don't think that would have done anything better. I mean, who knows? It's easy for you to say to do something after the play done happen. But, you know, I don't agree with a stretch. You know, they, that's just plenty of time for them to, you know, break through the offensive line. You know, that man, did, they did a long stretch. That play lasted forever. I would have been happy with, like, a dive. You know, just go straight up the middle, you know, do something. A dive would have probably worked. I, some people in the stands are talking about some play action. I don't know. Maybe it would work. Who knows? It's easy to say it after the fact the play is dead. So, you know, that hurt. You know, I, I was going to make a video about Matt Ryan <laughs> doing great in, like, leading the pack for MVP, league MVP. I'm going to hold off on that video because, you know, I always talk about his interceptions. The man's interceptions, his it's not like he throws a lot. It's just the timing of them, the timing of his interceptions. It's always like the fourth quarter, the game out. I don't even know how much time I'm so mad in the dome. I didn't even look at the clock. But he threw that late interception to Perryman, and that, that helped them uh, move down the field, you know, put his OT and all that. But his intercepts, his timing with these interceptions is just bad, man. It's just bad. But, I mean, he's still balling out, I guess. But I'm going to hold off on that video. I was going to do a video, but I'm going to wait on that. Uh, I mean, let's, let's talk about the bright spots, I guess. Uh, shout out to Vic Beasley. I might make a video for him if he continues to ball. I'm just going to wait on all of them because I'm going to hold off on all these apologies I said I was going to do because <laughs> – they probably going to end up doing something stupid. But Vic Beasley, shout out to you getting them sacks in, man. They did one where he just ran around, used the speed, ran around the tackle. There was another one where they did a stunt with him. Uh, the tackle went outside. Vic Beasley went around. He wrapped around him, got the clear sack. Shout out to Brooks Reed. 
you know, they're, they're getting to the quarterback every now and then now, but we're getting killed, like, when they dump the ball short. I'm not really going to put the blame on anybody. It's a team game. It's a team effort. <laughs> but I will highlight Matt Ryan's late game interception. Us not being able to get that fourth and one in our defense allowing 30 points per game. I could say that. And Matt Bryant, I'm not going to put no pressure on you because, you know, that was a hard kick. You barely missed that, man. You barely missed that kick. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I was talking so much junk to these Charger fans about my section. And I had a... I almost fought them. I almost I had to deal with that. But you know, it's whatever. I looked at the NFC standings. And they're back right. Everybody's back in it. They're, it's not, they're not far behind. They're right there knocking on the door. Will this defense, what will this team, like, take it to the next level? We need the defense to step up. Offense, continue doing what you're doing. You know? I don't know if they're just taking their foot off the gas pedal because once we got to, like, 30, we ain't. We ain't scored since. <laughs> uh, we ain't scored since then. Defense just needs to stop people more from getting from scoring because we put up numbers. And, uh, yeah, y'all better get right for Green Bay because I'm being in my little Halloween outfit. We gotta go crazy, and, and we already know they're gonna be deep in there. Green Bay fans go crazy. A fans going to be in there turned up, so don't be surprised if y'all see me fighting out there. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about the game. What should we have done different? Who do you put the blame on? Who would y'all put the blame on? Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any email questions or fantasy football, I will answer them in a video. Just make sure to send your questions to the email down below and put it in the uh, description box. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe again. Subscribe. I got more videos. I like to talk to you guys. So, you know. Till then, I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. That being said, we out.